the crypto markets currently are getting ready and poising themselves for a massive move. The question is, what direction is it going to move? In this video, we're going to take a little bit of a dive into this, the content that will give you the accurate decision, uh, the accurate data to make a decision as to whether it will be going up or down. Make sure to stay tuned right to the very end of the video. It's not going to be too long of a video today. Thank you for being here with me. I truly appreciate every single last one of you blessed, benevolent, and beautiful beings. And welcome back to the Crypto Bliss Show. I'm Kiara Ducas. Thank you for being here with me today. I truly appreciate every single one of you beautiful beings. Guys, if you missed my impromptu live video that I did last night, well, yes, yes. go check it out. The markets are crashing. I'll give you some indication in the video as to what is going on here today. But that's not necessarily what is going to happen. So let's go and check out the video today. Now, today, the current, currently, the crypto um, Morales money bubbles, there is still a lot of blood on the streets other than these two. And Tia seems to be one of the only few that keep pumping in the space. Tia looks like one of the most incredible and insane projects to build on. So don't miss out on that. Go check out that video over here. It is definitely going to be one of the next best cryptos out there. So today, the cryptocurrency market cap is currently sitting at $1.715 trillion. Not much move down than where it was yesterday by 2%. Uh, the trading volume is now 106 billion dollars so it's increasing again we have 88 90 percent coins pumping here you can see so many things are still pumping although bitcoin is now 10 percent down for the week ethereum is five percent for the week uh bnb is up for the week solana down for the week ripple down eight percent for the week lido down 5.4 percent for the week cardano down 13.8 percent for the week AVAX down 13% for the week and Dogecoin down 7.5% for the week. So many things, there's some things that are dumping, some things that are pumping. But guys, um, if you have been with me, I mean, like if you've been investing for longer than 30 days, shout out on the channel, you guys are probably in profit. As you could see, the coins that I've been talking about on my channel, if you've been investing over the course of one year, uh, well, then you're pretty much mostly in the green. So I hope you guys are enjoying that. Today, the fear and greed index from yesterday's 63 in greed. We are now back in the neutral territory. whoop de doo whoop de freaking do However, remember that when the market goes anywhere beyond, below 50%, that's a phenomenal time to accumulate crypto. Okay. Just as a heads up, and 50 to 100, that is wonderful time to take some profits, be active in your trading, and get in and out, in and out. Especially if you are trading derivatives, man, using my link, my links down below here. Now, I haven't changed this yet, but my Bitflex deposit, uh, when you deposit funds, you can get up to $68,888. My Bybit, you can get up to $30,000. Use one of those links, come and trade with me. Let's delve into the rest of the content. According to um, Larry Fink, wants to tokenize financial assets. Recently in an interview, Larry indicated that he is entirely on board with tokenization of assets, including real world assets, which is what their model Aladdin works with. Take notes. He also made it clear that he regards BTC as an asset class that is no different than what gold represented over thousands of years. And during a Fox Business interview, Fink switched into survivalist cypherpunk mode, explaining that if you're in a country where you're fearful of your future, fearful of your government, or you're frightened that your government is devaluing its currency, by too much deficit, you could say BTC is a great potential long-term store of value. Looks like Larry Fink might be the main character of this cycle. I happen to agree with that, especially because BlackRock 
and Fidelity are essentially the two giants in the space in terms of uh, the spot ETF volumes that is being traded inflows. So now there is something that I need to caution you with. And I think, you know, Benjamin Cowan, I, I love him. I love his analysis. I love his shows, etc. I think he's very, very um, accurate on uh, the majority of his predictions, but no one in the whole world, guys, can be accurate on 100% of their predictions, especially in a new space like crypto that is quite volatile, has a lot of liquidity flowing in and out of it constantly. Um, so he says here, he has a, a kind of a negative outlook uh, and he says that it is mirroring a pattern. Bitcoin is mirroring a pattern that could trigger a substantial drop. Now, we have spoken about this previously before. He's not wrong, guys. The bull market um, support band, an indicator made up of the 20 week simple moving average and the 21 week exponential moving average is used to identify possible support levels for the price of Bitcoin during the bull market. Now, it's going to very likely pull back to this 35, 36,000 level. So I wouldn't be surprised. Um, in February of the halving year, Bitcoin has always tagged the bull market support band from the current levels that would represent a substantial drop of a further 15%. We have seen this. I spoke to you guys about this in my charts. Uh, last night, if you haven't watched them, I will leave them in the cards above for you. In the case of the 2012 uh, Bitcoin halving and the case of 2016 Bitcoin halving, we held it bull market support band as support. But in the case of 2020, we did not hold it as uh, support. We had a, the pandemic drop. We ended up having a recession where the unemployment rate went up a lot. So in the economy, if the economy does not hold up and the Federal Reserve has pushed us into a recession, then it might not hold up. This is where, uh, not here, but essentially, as you can see, once we got under, that is when we actually had indication that we should be, so like here again, this was indication to tell us, well, actually we're in a bear now, so get out, sell your assets. Okay, so I do like that. I do think that that is reasonable from Benjamin Cowan. Um, Ethereum is not about to lose its top layer one position, says crypto analyst, but here's when it could be unseated. So this is according to Kaleo. Um, gonna put this out there. For as much as uh for as much hate as ETH gets, I still don't expect any L1 to flip it the cycle. Doesn't mean we won't see plenty outgain it, but over the past seven years, that I've been plugged into the space i've heard countless names called out as the next eth killer ultimately none of them have unseated ethereum's place as the ultimate settlement layer and i don't see that changing quite yet if it were to happen i i think we're two cycles away from seeing it take place so i was speaking about the same thing here but regarding bitcoin i don't think there is any bitcoin killer and i don't believe that ethereum will unseat bitcoin or flip bitcoin okay especially not in this cycle guys ethereum has a lot of work massive market cap to gain before it can even consider getting close to flipping uh bitcoin um so it's it's still very 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 far away anyways uh so with regarding with regards to to that you can see here that this is the daily ETH btc chart and we have now basically triple bottomed out here on the ETH BTC chart, which is pretty darn freaking amazing. Okay, oops, uh, which is pretty darn freaking amazing. And that is why you guys need to be very, very, very well aware of what's going on because my bands, my RSI, BSI bands have opened up very, very nicely at this point. Um, and if we go and have a look at this on the weekly time frame, it is looking mega ultra deliciously juicy here um when it decides it wants to load up again so i'm going to move this because that is a massive level of resistance and that is a massive level of support so you guys can see that you know we're at this point right now we bounced off of this level we bounced off of this level um and essentially it almost looks like we're making a 
uh, a falling wedge pattern here on the ETH chart from this line and this line's perspective, okay? So falling wedge is generally very, very bullish. So are we developing the momentum to actually get us out and pull us up to the 618 level into the um, ETH BTC pair? And as you can see, just by doing that, we would be at 0 0.1 of a BTC per ETH. Now, guys, that is still a 71% move, which could happen against Bitcoin with Ethereum. That is phenomenal. I think that's really important. Could we see a move like this? If we were to see a move like that, um, you know, what, what does that level look like? Because if ETH were to flip Bitcoin, I mean, look at how far it has to go, guys, to get kind of a one-to-one -one ratio. I doubt it's going to happen at this cycle, guys. Just, I just need to caution you. Uh, this move from here to the top there was a 1,800% move. If we were to 1,800% move from where we currently are. Oh, wow. That's looking very interesting now. That could actually take us. That could take us to 1.15 not so it's not impossible guys but it's for me it's it's unlikely is what i would rather say to you all right it's drawing back so tether holding now if you guys are seeing this tether holding um 2.8 billion dollars in bitcoin i think most of the uh ecosystems in crypto learned especially the stable coins learned that with all the collapses that happened last year, the Luna, etc., you know, it's better to hold more Bitcoin so that you're backing, you're storing it and backing your paper assets of the stable coin reserves. So, uh, sorry, of the stable of the stable coin, which will help Tether print more money and bring more money into the space with time. Now. One of the coolest things that I've been seeing here, and this is a shout out to Thomas uh, Heyapolo, ETFs are scooping up about 10K BTC per day. And why would the price be dropping then? If they're, since last week, they're scooping up 10K BTC per day. Well, just remember that they're actually buying, okay, on the coin base otc which is over the counter and not on exchanges okay uh, but soon it's going to give the exchanges a massive um, demand and supply shock so the halving is just a few months away there is app this is an absolutely scarce asset whoever is selling right now must be a fool or they have no idea what they own, I 100% agree with this gent, and I'm gonna retweet that for uh, for you. I do see this as an incredible, incredible um, uh, post because of the energy. Now, shout out to Stock Money Lizards. Guys, Bitcoin and its bearish divergences on the daily chart, a lot of factors point towards a correction that could last several weeks or months, I have been telling you guys this for a little moment, but don't be worried. Just accumulate in these moments. That's all you need to do. Just accumulate because if you were watching my channel, I showed you guys last night that we are literally on the cusp of an absolute parabolic run in this crypto space. Now, drawing back to, to the Twitter chart here from Stock Money Lizards, higher high, high and higher high high and lower high on your RSI. We then had a drop and 56 days of bars um, that kind of consolidated in the sideways move. Then we had a, uh, a fake out to the bottom and then a massive pump, which gave us a high and then a higher high. Then we had a high and a lower high. Of course, then we had this drop and a bit of a fake out down here, which was 57 bars. The volume here was 1.18 million. The volume here was 748,000. We have had now a high and a higher high. 
we also have the high and the lower high on the RSI. Are we about to see about 57 days or two months worth of potential volume? The volume right now is about 191,000. We could kind of drop to this level, sit here and play around on this level for a moment or two. What do you guys think? So A, bearish divergences on the daily. B, typical pattern, trend line broken and retested. C, current situation, chart was really overhyped before the ETF. Now things have settled. This is usually the time when charts correct. Super simple, guys. And then lastly, the last chart here from uh, our beautiful friend, Stock Money Lizard. Shout out to you, Stock Money. Have a look at this now, but this is one of two scenarios. Bitcoin update in short-term time frame. At present, there is a potential retracement to the 39K level, uh, a crucial support zone aligned with the Fibonacci tracements of 0 0.618. And he's drawing the Fibonacci basically from there to the top of this line, and that would give us um the 39k so we'll draw that in for you guys now now as well so that you guys can see this but basically here is a leg we're gonna definitely have a bounce off of this level and then perhaps a next move down to that 39k look guys we did actually break down here yesterday to just over 40k um because i did add into my positions there let's go and check out the charts uh the dixie chart for the day today So this is the weekly on the Dixie guys. You can see that where we are, uh, I would say that that is a level. I don't really, I mean, yeah, look at the levels of resistance there. So I don't believe we're gonna get above that level. There's the target if we were to kind of head up any higher than where we are right now. But guys, I doubt that we're gonna go too, too, too much higher. So check at the total cryptocurrency market cap. Total cryptocurrency market cap on the RSI and BSI is kind of pulling down a little bit. I did say to you guys that we are looking for a little bit of support on this zone. The same thing as what is going on for Bitcoin right now. If you have a look at this particular Bitcoin chart, you guys, well, I mean, look at that RSI, BSI. It's telling us that we want to come down. However, actually, I want to go there on the weekly once again, very, very quickly. And I'm going to draw in a... Um, line on this RSI BSI for you so that you can indicate this to yourself. Come on, man. So, so I just want to indicate to you here on the weekly, though, that we are actually making um, a very strong bull uh, divergence because we have, um, from here, we bottomed out. We have had higher highs and higher lows on the R high highs on price and higher lows on the chart. So look, RSI doesn't mean it can't come down to this kind of 50 level and then bounce right back off of that level. It doesn't mean it can't do that, which could essentially bring us down to this 35K level um, and then make an absolute pump to the upside, guys. Those are just, you know, some type of scenarios. That doesn't mean that that is going to happen. I'm just talking to you about these levels. Now, this weekly candle is still looking actually very very bearish and if we close this current weekly candle like this 
the salt pressure hasn't been as much as last week, guys. I just need to, to kind of share that with you uh, on the Bitcoin price because a lot of people seem to be very confused. The dominance keeps dropping, but the total crypto market cap is actually improving and pumping. So as you guys can see here, we're getting a bit of a, a, a test or slash a bounce off of the white zone slash purple box here. So I do believe that we could see the continuation of the drop down here in dominance. But I do believe that if we are to look at this current level, that we need to just be very, very cognizant that currently we are testing this level and hopefully we can get a back up above the white box so that that shows us the indication of what is actually going on. Now let's draw that um, Fibonacci line in for you so that you guys can actually see, right? Right there to the top. Where is the 618? The 618 is actually down here at the 39K level. There you freaking go. The next level down is here at the 36,335 uh, level. Guys, those are, that's a strong, 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 strong support area. I just need you to know that, okay? Below that, I mean, if we close below this, this purple box for me, that's a danger zone then it's very likely that we'll probably come in and test down here at the 30, 31K levels. Is that likely? No. Is it a possibility? Yes. Guys, my trades are still flat out not happy. Um, I, I missed this limit, but I did put a limit here, which helped me bring my trade entry from there down to this level. Um, essentially, right now, we're, we're seeing a bit of buying energy come into this and we could see a, a kind of a pump up to this level like i said to you guys like i just showed you guys if that is the case you know I, I would possibly take some profits up at this level after i have got into that trade um but you guys can see here my bitcoin is down my cake is still down my lido is down my maria is down my optimism is down those are my trades the rest of them i got out so hope you guys have been enjoying that then over here, make sure you get your, your daily check-in of um, your flex points. Okay, let's go check out my trades here on Bybit. Your flex points you can use in the voucher shop to basically go and get uh, yourself some trading, etc. Now look at this, guys. Look at this. This is actually a really very, very nice level. Although I don't like that the, the moving averages opened up. But your TSI, your MACD, your RSI, and your um, your stochastic are all pushing off of a support level, which tells me actually that we're in a very decent position here. Should I add to it? Um, yeah, possibly. Let's go add. Where are we? 41, 41, 4, 41, 93. 41493. I'm going to leave it at that. Quantity, 0. 0, 0, 001. Uh, what's that? Four dollars. Zero zero two. I'm gonna say that. So if it does come down a little bit, that it'll get us into that position. Okay, that's the one. Then my Ethereum trade, because Ethereum kind of isn't pumping just yet. Oh, there you go. My order entry was just filled on Bitcoin. Um, my ETH. Yeah, guys, my ETH. Yeah, I mean it's it's a decent position to to look at. Um, two four one two four nine one. Okay. Um, quantity zero point zero one. Is that two five uh, zero two? Let's go zero three. I'm gonna go three dollars here, guys. I'm adding to my positions. Um, so order submitted successfully. So now I've added to my position. Over here, it's uh, it's basically been filled. And then my BTC position, now you can see it got added and filled. So it lowered the risk that I have over here. Guys, I'm pretty confident that we're going to get a bit of a pump up to this level back here, this 44K level. If we close above 44K level, guys, and we maintain within this purple box, I'm pretty confident that we'll end up going long. So... The levels that we need to now be very conscious of, of resistance really are, is this level here. 
order entry filled on Ethereum. There you go, guys. So you guys can see that I'm live trading with you on the spot. Uh, we need to basically break out above these moving averages, above the down sloping resistance level, and then essentially push our way up to this uh, upper band. So that is a down sloping resistance level, guys. I hope you have enjoyed every single moment. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Check out my links down below so that you guys can come and trade with me. Thank you for being here with me today. I truly appreciate you. Oh, last thing. I did not show you the altcoin season index because the altcoin season index were actually about ready for explosion on shorter term time frames, uh, not necessarily on longer term time frames. So uh, check out this. This is on blockchain.net. This is the altcoin season. So altcoin season, uh, this, this is according to the daily chart, okay? Um, the altcoin season, we're currently sitting at 78. On the month, we're sitting at about 63. So uh, altcoin season, at the moment, we're, we're already entered into altcoin season because we've gone beyond that 75. So is it a good time to get altcoins? Yes, it is. Do, if we drop, altcoins will bleed. Will that be a, an even better time? Yes. Are we guaranteed that's going to happen? No. Okay. So currently, on the monthly time frame, we have not actually entered the altcoin season, although we are and have been knocking on that door right now with the um, the Bitcoin dominance, as you can see, knock, 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 um, knock, knock, currently knocking. Okay, so we're about 12 points away from there and we're getting ready for the next move up. In terms of on the yearly time frame, the yearly time frame, we are only sitting at a 31, which kind of shows me that we're still on the bottom end for an altcoin season, uh, uh, sorry, a, an, a, a, an altcoin year, we're still within the Bitcoin year. Are we about to see the altcoin seasons really make a huge rally up to the upside? Very, very likely people would be exiting some of their positions of Bitcoin and getting into altcoins. If you guys enjoyed that, subscribe to the channel, hit my links down below. Love you all. Take care. See you on the next.